everyone this is harjit here i hope you're enjoying different videos on my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to it uh, please share it and uh, you know share your knowledge also on my channel uh, by putting comments guys uh, this video i want to cover topic of uh, how to parse json files in spark so a lot of folks on my channel have have asked this question to cover this topic specifically how to parse multi line uh, you know uh, json json uh, is a very important format uh, so you know uh, in web world in world of uh, you know world wide web uh, most of interaction between the systems and the data transfers happen through json so you will see lot of system that we are currently using uh, they transfer data and store data in in json way so if you are exporting some data to process from any existing system it is uh, it could be possible that you are getting the uh, data in json format one very common example is that if you load uh, if you are processing twitter data uh, twitter tweets uh, and you uh, you uh, subscribe to twitter uh, apis then the data that you will get will be in json format so it becomes very important to have facility to parse uh, json data it is very important to understand that json is not a very good format for spark uh, there are other formats like parquet orc and uh, abro and other formats which you which you should prefer uh, if you have option to change the data format because then you can take advantage of lot of different features like predicate push down uh, of any other optimizations uh, that are there in that data format so uh, it is always preferable to use some you know better uh, uh, format which can give you better compression and better performance uh, optimization uh, in scenario when you are stuck with the uh, json you know you have to use json so there is no turning away from that so this video is considering uh, the scenario when you have to uh, handle and parse json data and you want to run analytics on top on top of json data so let's uh, dig deep into this so first one is very simple uh, first example is very simple uh, so i have a uh, you know json data uh, i have a json string so you know i can simply create rdd out of it and uh, then you know i can load that rdd uh, and just say spark.read.json so there is a data uh, source uh, uh, you know api already provided by spark so if you can tell that i want to read the json file and it will give you uh, you know the the results uh, in in the in the in the form of table you can you know then process that table in very easy way so let me give you an example you can select uh, you can select specific columns out of it you can say i want the column name i should have press show cool so you know you can select and process analyze the data uh, if it is in json format in spark very easily in lot of situations uh, in when you're processing data it may happen that you you have uh, your json file in uh, multiple lines so if above you might have noticed that our whole json is a single line so it is very easy to process these kind of jsons uh, but in real world scenario uh, you will definitely have this situation where your json uh, is split into multiple lines so how to handle that kind of scenario uh, scenario i'll show here so i have just uh, taken small json data in which there are two records each record is divided into multiple lines in first record name is hobbit and second record name is harry uh, let me store this record into a file 
in my file system okay so i have stored this file uh, you know you can ignore this line i'm just doing ls on this file now uh, if i want to read this file i just need to say spark.read.json and give the path of that file i will not be able to read this file it will throw me an error so it is saying corrupt record so since my json was of multiple line in multiple lines i was not able to process it now solving this problem is very easy earlier it used to be very tedious but with spark 2.x uh, spark has given an option of parsing multi line json so you can see here i just need to give an option multi line true so you know with that i can easily see the records see here so i am very easily able to process the file and uh, you know show the records guys i hope this video was useful for you if you have any doubts please post it in comment section i'll be very happy to answer your questions uh, so uh, this is a very commonly asked interview question also uh, people ask uh, how to process multi line uh, json files so you know share this video with your friends uh, and thanks for watching this video